Concordia community has been probably one of my most favorite things. Everybody has a story. Our students know what it's like to be the new kid in town. Everybody was just so friendly. I really like it because I have lots of friends. These people become a part of our life. The Concordia became my family. We live in community here. And it's just been a blast getting to know different people. When you're in a community, it's about being in a place at the same time with a group of people that have all come for all different reasons and understanding really that everybody has a story, that everybody has um, a purpose and everybody has value in coming together. Children, when they come to Concordia, start uh, right away. It doesn't take them any time to fit into the school and start to take advantage of some of the things that we offer. We find that a, a student new to Concordia fits in fairly quickly. Partially because we have a highly mobile population that our students know what it's like to be the new kid in town. I've been here for two years. I came during my junior year and it was a really big shift for me because I feel that the small size makes you know people more so you're not just one out of the 2,500 students. When I was new here, I was really, really shy, and I didn't make friends easily, but um, I remember like my first teacher helping me push through. I was the only new kid in my fifth grade class, but it actually only took probably 20 <laughs> minutes for me to get to meet someone, because there, we're all welcoming new students, and we're, we've all been in the same position when we've been a new kid. My name is Ruffy, and... I'm from India. My name is Selena. I am from Michigan in Detroit. And I've lived in, I, for me, this is my second year. Oh, Hi, my yeah. name is Anastasia and I'm from um, Chile. I really like it because I have lots of friends. I moved to China when I was in, um, in the middle year of third grade. And I like it here better. I moved midway through freshman year, so just after first semester. But the transition wasn't that bad. Academically, it was hard. It was a much harder challenge. However, all the students here, most of them, also moved here. Like, this is not their first school that they attended. They know how it feels to be the new kid, and they all know how, you know, everyone wants to be included. This is my second year here at Concordia, and I came in about two or three weeks late. Everybody was just so friendly, and we also had ambassadors that showed us around to our classes, and it was just really inviting. You weren't nervous once you got to the school. One of the most successful programs has been the ambassador program, both in the middle school and in the high school. The students get excited to be ambassadors at Concordia, and they love being the front line who get to meet the new students that are coming in. I've never been in a school that has this much support. I'm amazed at the, the fact that we have an academic counselor and a guidance counselor in the elementary school to help families in their transition. We don't only care about the students, we care about the families in terms of transition as well. Our transition to China and Concordia was just a wonderful experience. Uh, my children were very concerned about leaving their friends and their school, uh, and one of the things that occurred is they immediately just, they were plugged into a network that's just unbelievable. In our time in Shanghai, the Concordia community has been probably one of my most favorite things. I've met a hugely diverse group of men and women here that um, are all smart and well-traveled and um, adventurous and it's just been a blast getting to know different people. One of the greatest things about Concordia and the community is we become fast friends with people very, very quickly. Since we don't have family here, these people become a part of our life. When our family moved here about a year and a half ago, the school set us up with a family who had been here already for about a year or so and she was the one who um, took me to all of the different places. This is where you go for this, and this is where you go for that. So that I got a sense of comfort knowing where I can find what I needed. So wherever we go, if we're in a supermarket, we 
find someone that, that we're familiar with uh, here at Concordia. When new teachers arrive at Concordia, um, we work very hard to make sure they're welcomed immediately. And that starts right from the, the three of us standing at the airport reception gate. They've got a friendly face that's there to greet them. We can get them right to their home. Their beds are made, there's cereal and everything else they need to get them settled into their house. So when I first came to Concordia, I didn't know anyone else in Asia. I kind of just picked up and moved here. <laughs> I fell in love with Concordia and it's because the people here took me in and made sure I was okay. And it really felt like my family. And when I told my family back at home how I felt, they were just so relieved to know that I had found caring, loving people to take care of me when they couldn't, especially since I'm halfway across the world. And I'll never forget walking into my new apartment for Concordia, having lived in Asia and, and having had friends here already. Um, I walked in and the things on my counter were a towel, uh, enough paper plates to get through the week, yeah. like two cups and some knives and forks. And believe it or not, that made the world of a difference. And for some reason that stuck out in my mind. And then it's like, as soon as I met everybody in school, the warmth, just touched me and it continues to. It's not superficial, it's not just to get the new people settled in. Every time you feel like you need something, there's more than one person there offering to help. The community here, I think, helped with our transition quite a bit. I was matched up with um, a teacher that was right next door and she helped me with every aspect of my teaching that first year. And she walked in my life. We, we've stressed community a lot here and, and I remember one time I was uh, working late and, and my cell phone went off and it was just simply a message to help me. I was injured in an accident and had surgery here in Shanghai and was supported by teachers and students and my principal who came to the hospital. Um, I spent the rest of the evening with her at the hospital helping her get settled in, making sure she was comforted, making sure she was getting the help she needed. Um, and I wasn't the only one. That was, the, you know, there's a whole range of people. I ended up having to return home for a semester and the support didn't end when I left. I continued to get phone, daily phone calls from students who wanted me back and um, again my principal who assured me I'd always have um, a teaching position here, my colleagues, my friends, the parents, and I was welcome back. I, I worked very hard to return. And that's a small example, it's a much longer story, but it's an example that, that we live in community here and that we, we reach out to help each other as quickly and as effectively as we can in, in a loving way. When they repatriate, it's different, and I think that's probably the biggest challenge sometimes. Yeah. It's not so much the coming to Concordia International, because that they expect there's going to be change, but when they go back home, they expect everything to be the same. We are aware of the, that there is culture shock, and we're aware that there's reverse culture shock, and our counselors work with, work with the children, work with the parents on you know, how to go through that transition. On the flip side, having been here some time, our children have to experience people that leave and repatriate. and. That's been a difficult thing for me as a person, becoming great friends with somebody and then they're gone. But having to deal with that with my child has really given her strength, um, truly forced her to continue to generate new friendships. So there is support there, mm -hmm. uh, being aware that there are transition challenges, but there is support. And when you're new and everybody else is new, you just need each other. And so you find each other and you support each other. and. Mm -hmm. We, and we found that at Concordia. It's about becoming assimilated to a brand new place in a brand new time and, and you're still trying to figure out why you're here. Uh, and, and it's also about understanding that, that when you go from here, you're taking a piece of this place with you to the next place. And so that community is affected by what happens here at Concordia.